Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and some more medieval. This time it's Medieval Knights by Victrix. So let's have a look. Hello everybody and yes it's more medievals on the channel specifically um these these are the um the new mounted um Medieval Knights by Victrix. Um, now Victrix very very kindly um, sent me a, um, a set of these uh, to paint up and have a look at so I'm really really rather grateful for that. Um, I should say I'm not a massive I'm not a massive painter of cavalry and I'm, I'm really quite new to medieval wargaming as well so it was great to, you know, to see some some cavalry um, and work on something that I don't normally I don't normally paint up I think in my entire painting career I've probably painted less than 30 horses um, but I was really looking forward to these I've, I've seen a few of the channels looking at them I've seen them across you know, various social media so yeah really looking forward to, uh, to having them um, having got painting these so what I'm going to do is show you what you get in the um, in the box or the, the, the packet as it were um, and I'm going to show you what I've painted up so let's have a bit of a look at the sprues you get with the set So let's have a look at the sprues you get in in this set so you get three sprues of horses and three sprues of knights to make a combined total of, of 18 overall uh, miniatures so this is the horse sprue and as you can see all the horses are in in the old medieval barding um, different styles across each horse And really crisp sculpts. I was very impressed with just how crisp the sculpts are on these on, on these miniatures. Um, so the horses are in. They come in four pieces. You've got a left hand side, a right hand side, and the saddle is two pieces that you you um, glue together, and you just pop it into the space on the back. Uh, I found they went together surprisingly well. I was very impressed with how how well they went together. Uh, very little clean up. Um, like I say, crisp sculpts and they, they just they just went together it didn't take me very long to put the horses together uh, let's put it that way uh, but yes yeah, super impressed with the level of detail and the way they went together so yeah, i'm not a, i'm not a massive painter of cavalry <laughs> um so i thought these these are going to be a challenge for me um but i did i did enjoy painting them so that is the horse sprue and this is the knight sprue so you get six horses on the on the sprue and six bodies on the knight sprue, and you get so many options on here. There's different styles of shield. You've got axes, swords, spears, uh, maces. You've got some way you can replace the hands with different types of swords. You've got a, a vast array of um, heads as well. So full visors. You've got some way you can see the face. Uh, and that's the the knight's bodies themselves as you can see very very crisp the lots of folds and creases on the um, on the material again different types of shield different styles and again these went together um, really well again no no issues at all um, no need for model in putty or, or green stuff to fill any gaps went together really well again really impressed with the level of detail the amount of options as well is, is pretty cool and yes I think the the vast array of different heads that you get is is, is one for your bits box and um, you can combine these with them with other Victrix kits as well um, but yeah so that is the that's the the two sprues that you get Again, just just chock full of, of options you can really make some unique um, combinations as well uh, using this kit and so once I put them together I couldn't wait to start painting now I painted five I'm going to show you exactly what they look like now I've mentioned how well uh, the, these kits went together um, they certainly glue together well attaching the knights to the horses no issues there they 
the, the, the knights fit snugly into the saddles uh, on, on the on the horses. Um, I'm, yeah, the, the actual build, very impressed with. Um, and once they were all together, like I said earlier, I was really looking forward to painting these now. I, I know I've mentioned it earlier. Um, I, I've, I've not really painted that many cavalry um, over the uh, 30 plus years that I've been painting. Um, so I always find them a challenge. And with these, I thought, bright colours, lots of flat areas. These are going to be a challenge. Um, but you know what? I thoroughly enjoy painting them. Um, they were there was something new. They were challenging. Um, again, the, the bright colours, uh, just something that I'd never really painted before. So there was a an element of stepping out of my comfort zone with these. But I'm you know what? I'm really glad that I I painted them up because they were thoroughly enjoyable to paint. I'm going to show you the five that I've painted so far. So let's start with this chap here. So with this guy, I went for an all sort of red scheme. So both his and the uh, the horse's um, barding are in this nice deep red. Went with a sort of grey black horse. The um, the decals on the uh, on the shields are from um, Little Big Man Studios. Again, very very kindly provided by by Victrix. I think they they certainly set off. Um, the models i think before before i put the shields on they looked you know sort of plain uh, but the, the the shields really do go a long way into adding sort of character and just breaking up some of the the overall um uh, colors as you can see um i've weathered the the horse's barding i've done this because i'm working on quite a few medieval bits and pieces at the moment and i have gone with the weathering because Whenever I think of the of medieval war game or the medieval period, I think of mud. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's just mud. Um, so I just thought I didn't want them completely you know, clean. So I've added uh, some weathering pigments as dust and then a bit of uh, Vallejo mud just as it splashed up onto the um, onto the barding. I also put it on the shields as well. Uh, and my usual basing is just clump foliage, mud and tufts. That was the first one. This guy here with the um, with the axe. Again, different style, different style of shield um, to the previous knight. And we also decided to go for a half green, half red combination. I just think what I like about these is the poses, um, the real action poses on the knights. Now some are. A galloping into action, some are swinging weapons. I think this guy, you know, I'm going towards you with a, an axe flying around his head like that. He's gonna, he's gonna ruin someone's day. Um, what I like with these as well is the, 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 the patterns you can use. So I've gone some, some with full, some quartered, some halved. Um, I just think it, it looks, looks the part actually. So again, that's a, um, a little big man studios. Um, shield uh, decal so that's the green and red next one is in all blue and he is armed with a, a sword again another another quite a dynamic dynamic pose so all blue for this chap as you can see there you can just see how how snugly the the knights fit into those those saddle pieces on the horses And uh, yeah, lots of barding um, saved me <laughs> the pain of painting full horses, which I've done in the past, and I, I don't enjoy. <laughs> I just think these are great for me because I didn't have to paint much horse. Okay, quite a simple scheme for this chap, but no, I really like the way it turned out. Uh, this guy here is very colourful. So I've gone here with the quartered uh, green and blue. And I've gone for a yellow and blue shield uh, pattern, just to contrast against that slightly. As you can see, I mean, hopefully it demonstrates that the the, um, the different poses you can get using this kit. Some are really dynamic. And the last one is quite possibly my favourite. Uh, <laughs> he's very colourful, so he's got the um, 
the half red, half blue, uh, repeated across both the horse and the knight, and then the blue, white and red shield. And he's he's waving an axe, a very very nasty looking axe. But again, I just I just like the way well, when they're all when they're all bunched up together, they're all posed together, they, they look really dynamic the way that they um they're running forward. And even the, the, the pose on the horses as well, they're not they're not static. Um I think there's one he's got yeah guy here's got uh, got both legs up he's he's in full full gallop there. So again really really great poses on the horses. I think sometimes you see pose on horses they're very very samey um, like they're trotting not these guys these these guys are really going for the charge. But as you can see once they are all based up they look really quite quite the part don't they. So yeah that was uh, my my recent foray into medieval medieval war gaming has has continued in earnest uh, with these um victrix medieval knights again big thank you to victrix for kindly sending um the one to me to have a have a go have a paint and look at um really really very grateful um and I'm, i i i really enjoy painting these again outside of my comfort zone painting cavalry and medieval uh, mints at the moment but really enjoying it um, and these were no exception, um, absolutely wonderful kit and thoroughly recommended. Well, hope you found that video useful. Um, if you've painted these yourself or you no, know, you wanted to see how, what the kit looked like, um, hopefully, uh, hopefully this video will be a, a nice overview for you. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions about this or war gaming in general, I just leave them down below and I'll certainly respond to all comments and questions. But as always, thanks for watching. Do take care. May your dice roll well. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So, bye-bye for now.